Hello, this is Janet Wright, and this is gonna be a healing technique video where I walk you through how to get even more present than you already are. And this video specifically will help you to heal your uh, innermost two layers of your aura, your first layer, which is right up against your skin, and your second layer of your aura, because you have seven layers to your aura, each generated by one of your major chakras along your spine. Right? And so a lot of, uh, well, a, part of what I teach people is how to repair your aura. Because most people don't realize how important the aura is and keeping it repaired. Because all they hear is chakra healing, chakra healing, chakra healing. But if your aura is messed up, then you can't protect your chakras, so everything's a mess. So this video is going to assume that you've already repaired your aura today, pretty much just now. You've already checked that your aura is repaired and your grounding is already unblocked, okay? We'll spend like 30 seconds double checking, but um, I would really recommend that you do like the daily minimum of uh, those two things, aura repair and unblocking your grounding uh, before you focus on what's in this video because this video goes one step beyond that. But you can't, you can't, um, you're kind of wasting your time if you have like these big gashes in your aura or your grounding's block. That is what you should do first, okay? And uh, so I have a video. If you don't know anything about aura repair, start with the Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones video. Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones. If you already know about those and and that's cool with you, then you could jump right to the 10 or 11 minute video uh, that has or repair and unblock grounding in the title. And that would be really good and nice and quick to get your aura all fixed up and your grounding unblocked, okay? So most of my clients that are regular with videos and stuff, they, they've started to do that now as their daily minimum is repairing their aura, unblocking their grounding. So most of them, really yeah a, a lot of them that are daily regular with that they can get in uh they their daily level of presence is at least in through to being in their seventh chakra of their physical body their sixth chakra their fifth chakra their fourth chakra and their third chakra so third chakra like underneath the sternum that is really practical it has to do with time management getting things done productivity and also sleeping well so a lot of people, um, they, you know, if they do their aura repair daily or once or twice a day, they do their unblocking grounding um, once or twice a day at least, then, then they're in seven, six, five, four, and three most of the time, okay? But how do you get into two and one, right? Um, some of my clients are in seven, six, five, four, three, two, but not one yet. Some of them are in seven, six, five, four, three, but not two or one. So this video, um, you could do too, if you're already in all your chakras, cause it's just a nice way to give extra care to your second chakra and your first chakra and your second layer of your aura and your first layer of your aura. And it is the, the benefit. Why do you want to be in all your chakras? Well, because you're much safer, you're much more capable if you're in every single chakra. It's just like then they all work together much better and your abilities are stronger. All your abilities are stronger. Um, and specifically, uh, your second chakra abilities you have better, much better access to, which is emotional wellness um, and uh, sensory enjoyment and sex, sexuality, sexual uh, enjoyment as well. Um, if you're an adult, not for my kids, <laughs> kid watchers. Um, and then your first chakra at the base of your spine um, helps with abundance and courage and safety. So um, really reducing your worries down to next to nothing and um, you know clearing fear, um, all that stuff. So courage, abundance, safety, all sorts of good stuff. That's first chakra and first layer. So it's gonna help all your abilities, but it's gonna help even more of those sets of abilities. I do have a free uh, little two-pager uh, reference of what each chakra does. If you wanna see it in writing and, and it's nice and colorful, you could just email me at janet at janetwritereadings.com and just say, well, I think you have a two-page free handout and I'll just, on chakras and I'll, I'll send that to you. Okay, 
So let's get started. Um, so you, you're already grounded, right? You promised me and you already repaired your aura. So let's double check though, because maybe you did it two hours ago. Maybe you got a little banged up and you didn't realize. Okay. So have a copy of your aura out in front of you, a copy of your grounding out in front of you. You just imagine this right and so you don't have to see energy perfectly so you imagine the bubble for your aura and you want to just double check because maybe there are just these weird little rips in it that have appeared recently <laughs> not talking about myself or anything <laughs> you thought your aura was just right but maybe it's not so just go ahead and any rips or tears that you may have, they may be like really um, very surface, but that will still make a difference. So go ahead, wash them all out with gold light from your hands, from the, your hand chakras and your fingertip chakras. Just let them generate gold light and just bathe your whole aura with that. And that what that does is it washes out the rips and then they grow back, they repair themselves. So... Because once your aura isn't leaking energy anymore, then your chakras can kind of inflate your whole aura really well. So you'll get this sense of it's like poofing out and there's no more leaks. So if you feel you need more time with that, go ahead, pause the video and repair your aura more. Okay. And if you need those videos that walk you through it more, they exist. Okay. Um, and then the grounding, just double check that it's all unblocked because sometimes it can have a nice flow on the outer part, but not in the center of your grounding, like the core that's like directly below your spine, all the way down to the core of the earth, that center part blocks up more easily. So use your copy out in front of you of your grounding and just extra gold light in the center part. And just wash downward with gold light melt the energy blocks because it just takes a couple energy blocks to make like a traffic jam and then that has a big big effect on how you feel so we don't want that so there you go you unblocked your grounding you repaired your aura okay so but if you really needed aura repair work go and do that video or pause and get it done now okay um so what we're going to do now is uh to help you get more into your second chakra and your first chakra Again, second chakra, emotional wellness. It's like about an inch or an inch and a half or two inches below your belly button. And then first chakra is at the base of your spine. Okay. So the, you know, if we're doing like less is more, you know, like what's the, what little things do I have to heal to get into these chakras comfortably? A lot of times it's the drainage, like your aura layers, they wrap all the way around, right? But if they're blocked at the bottom, it's kind of like, you know, in the, when you have a tub and you put a stopper in the tub drain and then the whole tub doesn't drain right, right? So say your first layer, it goes all the way around. But if there's hardness down here, the whole aura layer doesn't drain right down and doesn't release right down your grounding. Same thing with your second layer, the very bottom part of it if it's hard there, that's a problem and it affects the drainage and the flow of the whole aura layer and that chakra. So the easiest, quickest thing to do is just work your aura, your first and your second layer of your aura right under your feet. And you may not have a doll to use, which is just fine. <laughs> I wouldn't be using a doll if I wasn't making a video. But anyway, so you just imagine your first layer and your second layer right under your feet and you can you know make them nice and big so you can sense them easier and just unblock them with gold light sometimes the energy blocks look like rocks sometimes they look like books you know flat hard pieces of energy but you just melt them take your time use the gold light you feel like something's really weird there you could use vacuum boxes um just make a couple you know like it doesn't matter how many you make vacuum boxes like you could make uh, you know two over here two over here two vacuum boxes they're just gold boxes that suck up energy that's not yours especially like spirits little beings you know entities that shouldn't be there so just you make the gold boxes and then you have a remote control and you turn on your remote control and the boxes start sucking up any energy that's not you, that is in the bottom of your first layer and the bottom of your second layer. 
and then you have it so that when the boxes fill up and they're done, they make a little ding sound, ding, ding, ding. So then you know, and you can give, you have your angels remove the boxes and recycle whatever's in it. Yeah, so all my boxes are going ding, ding, ding. So angels, can you please remove these boxes and recycle them? So you just ask with your mind. You know, I'm saying it out loud because I'm making a video. <laughs> but just say it in your mind. Angels, can you remove these vacuum boxes? Okay, great. So you already used cold light and you even used vacuum boxes. So now your first and your second layer down there are much more unblocked. And again, that's below your feet. So what that does is that helps the whole layer to flow better because you're starting to release even more than you were down your grounding in those layers, right? And um, so for some people, that's enough. And now they're in all their chakras. Just depends if you already meditate or you don't already meditate, you know, how much little extra help you need to get in all your chakras. Um, but then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, work clearing energy blocks from the front of, eh, no, let's save that till after. Let's now do gold light in your whole second layer and your whole first layer, okay? So again, your second layer all the way around, your first layer all the way around. First layer is closer, right? And it's generated by your first chakra here. Second layer is one out from that and it's generated by your second chakra. But anyway, just imagine, you know, like a little mini doll for you, a copy of your first and your second layer and just use lots of gold light and just, you can't use too much, right? Because it's just universal gold healing energy. And you just wanna bathe your first or second layer and just be, it's like you're just being nice to yourself on these levels, you know, because I was thinking about it the other day, there's really nothing I, that I can think of that does this other than you doing energy healing for yourself or, you know, getting that exact energy healing from me or somebody. So it's, it's a really unique experience in life to just have this pampering of these two aura layers. So just lots of gold light here. Again, these are specifically your first and your second layer of your aura. If you feel like the rest of your aura is getting jealous, you know, you can give it to your whole aura too. You know, all seven layers, at least a little bit. but especially second and first layer. All right, so then um, that could be enough too and you could already be in all your chakras right now, all your physical body chakras right now. Um, but just in case, um, the last thing that we would do is um, uh, help you give you extra help because you may be in now seven six five four three two but not your first chakra so to give you extra help we're going to unblock uh your first layer of your aura specifically in front because every aura layer if you get triggered the energy blocks are generally in front of that aura layer also in front of the chakra so if you have say fear worry abundance issues blah 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 triggered it's right in front here of your first layer. So right in front of your legs and right in front of your first chakra. So in front of your like hips and tummy and everything. Okay, so right here. So what we're gonna do is just this area. So extra gold light specifically right here. And you just imagine any um, energy blocks, maybe they're like hard sheets of energy that's black or white and you, Ideally, you set your first chakra to be your favorite shade of red and your second chakra to be your favorite shade of orange. Um, so red for your first chakra, orange for your second chakra. That little handout I have helps with that stuff too if you want. But anyway, um, so that means this first layer should be red um, because if it just has your first chakra energy in it, that would be the color. But you may have, you probably have some energy blocks and those would be probably other colors and they'd be hard pieces of energy. They wouldn't be flowing. So you just send the gold light 
to melt those hard sheets of energy. <laughs> and again, this helps clear worry, helps clear anxiety, helps um, with abundance, helps courage. And um, sometimes I like imagining the sheets of energy and see how many there are at that time and then just melt, a f melt. like if I notice three, then I'll just kind of notice, okay, one is melted and then another is melted and then another is melted, yeah. And don't feel like you didn't do it right if you melt some and then you notice more. That's fine and normal. What happens is it's like your spirit saying, oh, will you clear those? Let's clear some more. So more comes out. So you just do this for a little bit and um, then move on. <laughs> yeah, you can do it as much as you want, in other words. Um, but just melt away energy blocks that you notice here in the front of your first layer. And then I guess for the final thing, we could do a little bit of extra healing on your second chakra and your first chakra. But really, probably most people that are not new to energy healing, their first chakra and their second chakra might be good enough. And all that unblocking we did could be enough to kind of shoo out all the energy blocks that you need to, to be present and comfortable in those chakras. Um, why is that? It's because like the flow of the aura is really huge for how well these chakras are doing. But we could do a little over um, healing of the first and second chakra. So you have your second chakra, you have your first chakra, and technically you have a physical body, second and first chakra, and then you have an astral body, second and first chakra. So if you are feeling complicated, you can imagine them all separately, you know? So you have two second chakras, two first chakras that you're looking at or imagining. But I'm not feeling complicated right now. I want to just imagine it quickly and get it done. So what I'm going to do is use a composite. And my composite that I'm going to use that I suggest you try is both your second chakras and both your first chakras just as one. So it's your astral and physical second chakras and your astral first chakra and your physical first chakra. Just, just kind of combine all those copies as one. And that way you just have to heal one thing <laughs> and you're healing all technically four of those chakras. And just uh, a chakra looks like a round cylinder, round open cylinder with round ends. So round open ends, that's important because you want energy to flow in and flow out. So you just imagine maybe there's some energy blocks in front or in back and just melt those with gold light and imagine that round opening on either end of your composite copy and just use gold light. And mend any little uh, rough edges that is in this, on this round opening. You want it to be smooth like a, like a coffee mug. So just melt away with gold light any rough edges and any chips that are missing, let those heal and repair and melt away any energy cords going into here. Um, and if you're a parent of a young child, that's say 13 or younger, um, you can leave the first chakra cords that go into your first chakra from that child. Um, just with your intention, just be like, okay, I'm leaving the first chakra cord to my child, of course, but melting all the other cords, you know? And those of us that don't have children don't have to think about that. Um, you know, you could leave like tiny little cords to like your dogs and your cats going into your first chakra. That's fine too. But everything else. <laughs> so just melt away all those cords with the gold light. And then you could um, just use real quickly gold bottle brush. Uh, just make two of them, gold bottle brushes uh, of gold healing energy. You're going to use those to just do a final unblocking um, of these second chakras and first chakras of yours. So just stick them in the round openings and swoosh them around. And your intention is that the gold bottle brush is going to help unblock and just get rid of anything that's healthy and gentle for you to clear at this time. And give those brushes to your angels and ask your angels to get rid of them. And... Um, I think that's it. So you can just destroy that copy. 
<sighs> if you need to, redo your grounding real quick. And that's it. So what we did is we did extra help and healing for your second layer of your aura and your first layer of your aura and your second chakra and your first chakra. So that, you know, uh, perhaps if you were already in seven through three, seven, six, five, four, three, then now you perhaps in all your chakras. Um, so if you have any questions about that, about how many chakras you're normally in and how many chakras were you in when you were done with this video, you know, you could put in the, the comments, comment section. Um, all right. And, and also I would say, just keep in mind that, you know, it's not like an absolute, like, you know, maybe you're in all your chakras, you know, for like four hours after doing this video, but then, you know, you're grounding get a little blocked and then you're in seven through two, you know, seven, six, five, four, three, two after that, you know, but then the next day, you know, you do the video again and then you're in all your chakras again. And, and the more you do this kind of healing work, you know, the more you're in your second chakra and second layer, well, second chakra, and the more you're in your first chakra, it helps you to release old baggage and bring in new wellness energy and have strength and flow there. So it is cumulative. It does really help. So it doesn't just help you for those four hours until your grounding got blocked. It, it helps you in the long run. You're, you're really building a level of resilience and strength and presence that, you know, really adds up eventually. Um, well, not eventually, it really adds up. <laughs> Okay, but if you have any questions about that, feel free to post under the video. And if you want other people to see this video, you feel it has value, please do give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows. Okay, thanks. Bye.